Are you easily distracted, frustrated at the smallest things, unmotivated and procrastinating on your everyday tasks? If so, you're not alone. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite productivity tips that I have tried to incorporate into my life to increase my productivity and my motivation. I will also be going through the one system that has completely changed my mindset. Lately, I have just been feeling so overwhelmed with trying to get as many things done as possible and feeling a little bit burnt out. I am a full-time data scientist navigating my late 20s. I'm trying to be more regular with content creation and working with more brands. Also trying to balance exercise, family time, socializing and chores. And it just feels a bit too much at times. My day job is also completely remote and my office is my bedroom, meaning that the lines between work and personal life really do get blurry at times. One thing that I have been reminding myself to do every day is to really take a step back and change my perspective. So rather than focusing on things which are also difficult and feeling like the entire world is going against me, I try to focus on what is still going right. So rather than saying, oh, I have to do my nine to five, I have to go to my friend's birthday dinner, reframe it as I get to work in nine to five, I get to make money and I get to still have friends to celebrate little things with. You'll be surprised how something so little can completely change your mindset. My next piece of advice is to figure out what you want to achieve. Begin with the end in mind. Define your goals in life and use them as a guide to make decisions and prioritize your actions. Whether it's a short-term goal like getting promoted at work, making new friends, or maybe a more long-term one like retiring early. That way you can assess if the things you're doing will bring you one step closer to your goals or not. My next tip is to spend five minutes at either the end of your previous day or the start of your workday to figure out what it is you want to achieve and what your daily highlight is. I used to do this on pen and paper as I find that writing a task out keeps me focused, but lately I've been wanting to document this online so that I can look back over time and see exactly what it is I have achieved, whether that's for my day job to justify my value add or in my personal life to keep track of my finances and my accomplishments. And feel free to implement whatever system works for you, whether it's sticky notes or in a Trello board. Lately, I have been using Scrintool. I was introduced to them late last year and you might have heard me share them on my channel as well. So they are a visual mind mapping tool that I have been using to plan out my goals and also keep track of my progress. Scrintool combines the note-taking abilities of a Notion or a Confluence together with the mind map brainstorming feel of Figma. So basically a digital notebook that can help you brainstorm and keep track of all your ideas in one place. For me, the ability to visualize and draw out an idea is so, so important. I've always loved brainstorming ideas out in my notebook when I'm stuck on a coding problem or even just sense checking some numbers for a report that I'm doing. And what I appreciate about Scrintool is they understand that our thought process is often non-linear and very complex. And rather than going vertically down the page in a Google Docs or a Confluence document, Scrintool allows us to rearrange cards and boards where we can add our own links, PDFs and images. So I think about every card like a sticky note and every board more like a notice board for you to pin up all these ideas. I have found Scrintor particularly helpful in centering my goals for 2024, in particular tracking my finances as well as my content creation ideas and goals. So I have got a board with my overarching 2024 goals, so finance, career, side hustles and my health, with each of them deep diving into the monthly tasks and achievements. I have personally loved using them and if you would also like to check them out, my code Vivian should give you a 14 day free trial of Sprintle Personal Pro with no strings attached. I will leave a link down to them in my description box below. Thank you again to Sprintle for sponsoring this portion of the video and we'll now get into the one system that has completely changed my mindset, that is Kaizen. So this is a Japanese term that means continuous improvement. So Kaizen is all about harnessing the power of small steps to transform your productivity and eventually your entire life. Shifting your focus from big tasks to little steps that you can take every day. Some specific actions which are so easy to apply. So firstly, create some mini goals. This can be something as simple as cutting an onion, writing an email, or just going for a five minute walk outside. Now this will give you a sense of accomplishment, which brings me to my next point, to celebrate the victories, no matter how small they are. So as an ISFJ and a very big perfectionist, I often find myself undermining my own successes and I don't advocate as much for myself as I should. I'm also someone who really needs the words of affirmation, so celebrating the small wins has been really important for me. So moving on, vocalize your intentions. I'm not saying that manifestation works, but usually if other people are aware of it, it will hold you more accountable. Another little step is to keep track of your progress. Whether you're keeping a journal or tracking your exercise in a fitness app, this allows you to reflect on your progress, identify areas of opportunity, and also just stay motivated to see how far you've come. 
And another mini tip is the two minute rule. Now this is where if something takes less than two minutes, just do it immediately. This simple action really eliminates procrastination and ensures that your small tasks don't pile up, leading to a bigger distraction. This is something I've been applying a lot these days, especially when it comes to responding to a calendar invite or even just washing up a coffee cup. Moving on, I realize that I am someone who needs deadlines to create a false sense of urgency. Parkinson's law says that work expands itself to fill the time frame that we allocate to it, meaning that if I give myself a whole day to do something, I will take the whole day. But if I only time block four hours in the morning and then plan out something else in the afternoon, chances are I'll get my thing done in the first four hours of the day. So try and set an artificial deadline by time blocking a specific period in your calendar and you'll find yourself so much more productive. Now the next tip and probably our biggest downfall is that we spend so much time planning but not enough time executing. I have seen so many videos on goal setting and creating the perfect vision board but not enough videos on how to actually execute on these goals. Remember that yes, visualizing a goal is important because it creates a correct mindset, but it's not making any progress. Staring at a to-do list isn't being productive. The longer we procrastinate, the less momentum we have and the harder it becomes to actually start a task. There is this thing called the five minute rule where you basically force yourself to work on a task for just five minutes. Now this doesn't sound like a very long time, right? But it overcomes the massive hurdle of just getting started. Give it a go next time and you'll find yourself continuing on for a lot more than just five minutes. Another thing that I'm trying to implement into both my personal and my work life is saying no more. And this can be to social catch-ups, which just drain my energy, or to ad hoc work deliverables from stakeholders that I just don't have the time for. So my advice is unless something is really important or really sparks joy, just respond with, let me check my priorities and get back to you, or just say, no, sorry, I am busy. And lastly, create a routine and take breaks when you need to. Find those little things that really help keep you grounded, whether it's meditation, having a morning coffee, an afternoon walk, or just spending time with your loved ones. Remember that productivity isn't about being busy and doing more. It's about being a better version of yourself every day. Growth doesn't happen overnight, but through a series of small everyday changes. That is all that I have for today's video. I hope that you got something out of it and you've left this feeling a little bit more motivated. Thank you again to Scrintle for sponsoring today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.